Hi all and thanks for taking another look at ProBuilder. In this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at how you can use ProBuilder with occlusion in Unity. So just for a quick example scene here, let's say you had something where your player would have a rather large wall in front of them and just one small opening to look through and a room with lots of mesh detail inside of it. So without the occlusion system, the game would always be rendering all of this detail as you can see here. This is all still showing up even when you can't see it at all. When of course you should only uh, it should only be rendered when you're actually looking through and can, can see it here. So let's take a look at how this would look with the actual occlusion turned on. So with this on visualize, so I can see the occlusion. Now you see that it's actually only rendering exactly what the camera can see. So when it's over here, nothing is rendered. The exact ones that are being seen pop in and so forth. So of course this is just the Unity built-in occlusion system, nothing that ProBuilder is necessarily doing. However, what ProBuilder allows you to do is very quickly, easily, and efficiently set up occlusion blockers so that you don't have to use the actual mesh. So in this example, let's turn off that. If you had a mesh something like this, which was a, a wall with a you know some sort of archway or anything like that, it would probably, even if it were just this, compli uh, this complex of a mesh and more likely it would be much more complex, doing the occlusion straight through that would be inefficient compared to having of course just a single plane for your occlusion where, where it has to calculate a lot less. In a lot of uh, instances you can actually make your game run worse if you use inefficient occlusion, so you really want to make sure you're using it just right. And that's something that ProBuilder helps with here. So let's take a look at how this is built. So here we have a very simple scene, just a, something a quick setup so we can take a look at how to put together the occlusion with ProBuilder and looking at it right now of course no occlusion happening at all let's look at how to put this together so first of all we have two large objects that should be blocking occlusion and we could use these just as themselves for the occlusion in this case however let's pretend these are fairly complex meshes with lots of detail and polys or something like that that we would rather not use as the actual occlusion blockers because it would be you know much less inefficient. So let's create some extra objects. In this case we'll actually just duplicate these and pull it over so we can look at it here. Let's turn the snap on. There we go. Okay. So I want to make this into something that will block occlusion. So very simply with it selected go into the texture edit mode and select the occluder material and apply it to just one face of the object. So now that object, whenever you could think of it as light, whenever visibility, however you want to think of it, goes through this or tries to go through, it will be blocked. And we can set all the other planes to no draw so they don't factor into the engine. And with the no draw, if you're not quite sure what that is, uh, make sure you check out the other tutorial or one of the others that goes over the no draw material is a one specifically just for that. We won't really get into that here in this tutorial. So there we go. That's our occluder box set up. And let's actually make this just a little bit smaller than the actual box here. So I'm going to edit this. We don't really want it sticking out on the sides at all. And I'll just kind of fit it on the inside there. And we'll want to make a copy of this for the other side as well. So now that we have these two, all there's left to do is set up the actual Unity occlusion. So let's take a quick look at that, get a bit of a double tutorial in here. To do occlusion or to set it up, just go to Window down to occlusion calling and unity will show you its occlusion set up here and we won't go into too much detail on this it's not really the focus of the tutorial but we simply need to bake in the occlusion type that we want so I'm going to leave this on automatic portal generation and hit bake okay so now we can visualize what's being seen here and if we move the camera around, 
we'll see that indeed Oops, let's turn off the grid okay so indeed that occlusion is blocking any of the objects that can't actually be seen through the wall so just as simple as that we now have full occlusion working simply by setting material and just to, on the back end of this basically what's happening is whenever you apply that material uh, ProBuilder sets some special flags on that that face which allows it to be an occlusion blocker which normally isn't set so just uh, pretty simple in the background but allows you to set up occlusion blockers very easily and simply so there's really just one thing left here if you notice and you're probably a little annoyed by we have these flashing Z fighting edges and such going on and we have this bright red occlusion material sticking out let's go ahead and hide those so we don't have to worry about, worry about that anymore all you need to do from within ProBuilder is turn on or sorry you need to toggle the node draw so it's off and toggle the zones so if we actually selected these boxes and moved them away it appears that the uh, the node draw and the zones are completely gone but we can actually toggle them back on and this just toggles their visibility one thing when you're building your actual occlusion you have to make sure that the zones are not toggled off they have to be on or they won't be taken into account during the occlusion building so let's turn those back off and there we have it so thanks for watching hope this helps everyone out making your setting up your occlusion it's a great way to really make your level much more efficient if you use it in a good way especially as pro builder can so thanks for watching and see you in the next one